Alrighty, so this one's actually built out by Hector on our team. Um, one of our newer developers, I think, just joined this week, just earlier this week or last. Um, and so, you know, I kind of have a tradition internally when a new developer comes on, I like to give them something crazy and just kind of see how they tackle it. So this is one of those crazy ones that uh, I sent Hector's way. So this was a build out here to solve for a very specific problem for a client in that they have, uh, you know, they provide IT managed services. And they have clients that are on, you know, monthly recurring retainers of support hours. And then we provide that support through Zoho Desk and track time through Zoho Desk time entries. And all's fine and well. And at the end of every month, they can very easily pull a report that gives them an understanding of if someone went over or under on their, you know, hourly support contract. But the tricky thing is that for a day-to-day -day user, when they open up a ticket, because all that data lives in analytics, it's not obvious to them if that client has enough time to uh, on their prepaid amounts to service this ticket. And if they don't, we need to communicate with them, right? And let them know and get an invoice and, you know, so on and so forth. So really our goal was essentially to set up some triggered automations inside of Desk to reach into analytics, review that data about the prepaid hours and the total amount of hours in this cycle and then notate back onto the ticket, essentially where are we at, right? Is it okay to proceed on this? So first we need to build a couple of reports and analytics that essentially roll up all of those prepaid hours and then all of the billable hours from desk within the current month, right? Because it's kind of resets every month. Um, then we set up triggered automations when tickets are created, as well as when timesheets are created or edited that essentially reach into the analytics data grab the prepaid hours, get the total hours billed this month so far, right? And figure out where are we at. And we broke it down into three categories. Basically less than 75% consumed is gonna be, you know, all good. 75 to 99 is what we're calling kind of approaching, which means we can help them with this, but let's communicate to them that they're getting low, right? On their current hourly amounts for this month. Um, and then we have overdrawn, which is any time that it goes above 100%, right? We can kind of notate that, make sure that the rep knows um, that this client is kind of outside of their monthly service agreement. Um, and then kind of the last thing is that on the first of every month, we run a function that will essentially reset all the tickets back to, you know, good to go, right? Because at that point, the monthly cycle is reset. Uh, we can always pull the historical data on the time billings if we need to true up on anything. But effectively for the users at this point, they can consider that the new monthly billing cycle has started and the client is essentially full on hours again for that period of time. Um, so yeah, big shout out to Hector. Great job on this. Um, not an easy one, right? Whenever we're kind of reaching in and out of analytics to do these types of automations. Um, but it's a really high value one just because it does give those day-to-day -day users the ability to know if they can safely proceed with billable work based on those retainer agreements. I love it. Uh, wow, Hector, first week on the job and uh, <laughs> implementation of the week. You got to love That's it. a big shout out to Hector. Welcome to the team. <laughs> Welcome aboard, buddy. Uh, nice, nice, nice job. Are we going to use this internally now too? Possibly. I think yeah. actually Josh kind of has a version of this that he uses in our portal because it'll That's actually true. surface the remaining hours for us. Um, we just do it a little differently. Very, very slick. <laughs>